Here I am in Brussels, one of Europe's most Art Nouveau cities. Join me on a tour. I got to downtown Brussels via the central station. A shuttle takes passengers to the city centre from the airport. When I arrived, I was immediately dazzled by this building, the work of the architect Victor Horta, master of Art Nouveau. So I went to a concert at the Palace of Fine Arts, one of his masterpieces. Just look at that ceiling. Les maisons euh, particulières, les écoles, les grands magasins de Victor Horta, la plupart sont toujours là, ils, ils existent toujours à Bruxelles et la particularité c'est qu'ils existent toujours dans leur première fonction. Il n'y a, a pas de réhabilitation des bâtiments. His home and studio in the Rue Américaine in Brussels has become a museum open to visitors every afternoon. In Scarbeck, a private mansion, the Autrique House, was recently renovated. It's an interesting place because it hosts a series of exhibitions on Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau is not something frozen in time in Brussels. I went window shopping at a famous Antwerp fashion designer's. She set up a shop in the Maison Frison, another Victor Horta building near the Sablon. Thanks to the facade competition early last century organized by the municipalities of Brussels, Art Nouveau houses flourished throughout the region. There are over 2,000 of them. To discover them, just follow the guide. On vous propose des balades à pied, en bus, mais également à vélo. I opted for the bike for a visit to Saint-Gilles and Excel. This allowed me to see Horta, but also buildings by Ancar, Blaireau, the De Lune brothers and saint Noir near the Excel ponds, the area around Avenue Louise and the centre of Saint-Gilles. I also recommend some additional activities. Search out the most beautiful scravito on the facades. Buy Art Nouveau jewellery. Buy some pastries in a period setting. And go for a last drink before you leave.